Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. I've got quite a bad cold today, so hopefully you guys can understand me with me trying to talk through my nose. Alright, today I'm going to cover a question that probably every single YouTube channel gets asked by their subscribers on a daily basis until they're sick of, of probably hearing the question. But that is, what burns more fat? Less cardio or hit cardio? which is low intensity steady state or high intensity interval training. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. All right, as to which one burns more fat, that isn't really relevant because it comes down to energy balance at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what substrate you burn through part of the day. It matters what your total energy turnover is because your body is going to balance it back out based upon what you're eating anyways. And so ultimately most of the deficit you create throughout the day through everything is ultimately going to come from your body fat stores if you're preserving muscle mass correctly. Now, it is possible to burn more calories doing less because you can do way more of it you're simply not going to be able to go burn 500 calories a day or 800 calories every day, seven days a week doing HIT. It is simply not going to work. You're going to burn out doing it. So for total burn, lists can get more done. However, you've got the downside of doing lists that's anything more intense. Walking has a negative detraining effect on things like leg muscle, leg strength, and problems with detraining your weight training and it ends up taking up more of your time while HIT on the other hand is better at preserving muscle tissue than LIS is in that regard because it doesn't detrain performance as much because it is higher intensity. So that being said your initial fat burning whatever you need from cardio should probably come from HIT. The issue is that it puts almost as much strain on your legs and your recovery system as going in and doing a moderate intensity leg session. And so it really can overtax your system quickly. If you're already lifting weights four or even five days a week and you're going in and doing multiple sessions of HIIT in a caloric deficit, most people are going to burn out very fast doing this if they're not on a copious amount of drugs. So ultimately it can have very limited applications, but it should be your front line because it is better at increasing overall metabolic rate and it makes far, far more efficient use of your time. You can burn as many calories in a 20 minute hit session as you can in an hour plus of lower intensity cardio in terms of both the burn and then the small epoch, the post after burn that happens for a few hours afterwards. So it should always be done first. Now, on the other hand, when you reach a point to where you need more cardio because you are stalling in your cut, and that is going to happen, or you simply cannot stand to drop your calories any lower when you're cutting, at some point, if you're in, say, contest prep and you're trying to get really, really shredded, you're probably going to have to add some less in anyways. So at the end of the day, as you get further into a cut, you're probably going to end up using both, unless you're one of those people who are just genetically gifted with a high metabolism and the capacity for a high work capacity in the gym, in which case those people are just going to use their volume from their weight training to do it. But for everybody else, if you're trying to get shredded, you're probably going to have to end up using a mix of both. And remember, at the end of the day, it's about how many calories you burn through the activity, not so much which one is burning more fat, because it is the caloric deficit that burns body fat. And just remember that you guys are, most of you out there are either bodybuilders, or strength athletes or something else so your cardio should always take a back seat to your weight training so only do as much as you need to do in order to achieve your goals and make sure that your primary training stimulus is always your weight training unless you are an endurance athlete all right guys that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it has been informative and i will talk to you next time